Hello everybody, Zero Fossil Fuel. I just wanted to show you uh, with the return of some warm weather, it's finally time to get back out here in the garage and start building again. Um, these are some plates that I've had in storage all winter long that I wanted to put together and this is by far or will be by far my most ambitious build for a brute force electrolyzer cell series design. Uh, fashioned after the tall vertical cell that I have in use right now, but it, the one that I have in use right now has uh, 304 grade stainless steel plates. These are 316 courtesy of Turtle. So thank you very much Turtle for these. I'm finally putting them to use as you can see. And I wanted to show you, I've learned a few shortcuts with the construction techniques of putting these together. Um, I have a few of the plates already separated with tie wraps. I've taken the heads and cut the heads off of all the tie wraps so that they don't interfere with each other as I slide them in between the plates. What I do is I just take my knife and I separate one of the plates. Incidentally, there's already an elastic band that runs around the height of the plates holding them together this way so that I can slide the tie wraps in between them from the sides. I'm just going to take this and lay it in, pull the knife out, and then push it in the rest of the way. I do a few of these like this, and then I flip the block over, and then, and then I do a few more on the other side to even it out. And when I'm done, I will take a small ruler and I'll just nudge these uh, tie wraps in about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch deep into the into the openings so that I can then take acrylic panels that have goop marine adhesive smeared over them about a sixteenth of an inch deep and just compress it onto the edges of the of the plate stack and that will force the glue down in between the grooves but it won't actually force it down far enough to, to come into contact with the tie wraps. The tie wraps are there just to keep it spaced while the adhesive cures and then I'll take it and flip it over and repeat the process on the other side and I'll have a complete plate stack separated with the with the acrylic panels and a, a nice sealed column for the convection current to flow up through the bottom of the cell. Alright, that's it for this little little tip. Uh, hopefully this goes together pretty smooth. This is the, obviously the same construction technique that I used for these smaller type cells, experimental. But I have been anxious to put these and get them wet. They are 316L and um, this is a five neutral plate design with five electrodes. So uh, each, each of these electrodes is positive. The two, the two bottom electrodes will be negative and uh, there will be six intervening spaces between each electrode which should give me approximately 2.3 volts between each plate when the cell is in solution. That's it for now, Zero Fossil Fuel.